Hello, my name is John Chernis. I'm a computer and networking instructor and what I'd like to do is take you through these tutorials that I'm going to be creating on TCPIP analysis for this project and this is our first tutorial and it's a relatively simple tutorial it's just basically uh, how to download and install the free protocol analyzer program Wireshark it's a very popular protocol analyzer sometimes you hear the term packet sniffer but we're going to use the official term here for the product so to do that you need to just go ahead and open up your web browser of your choice Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, I have Internet Explorer already loaded here and what you have to do is simply go to the website again it's a free program www.wireshark w-i-r-e-s-h-a-r-k dot org and again if you're going to do this in the lab environment uh, I already have approval for you to use this program uh, at the college if you're going to do this at home I just want to let you know you need to get approval from your internet service provider because some internet providers when they see this program running on the network may think you're trying to do some type of uh, hacking exercise I'm actually going to show you how to set this up so you don't really even have the option to do that and that's how I'd like you to do this project uh, but primarily I want you to use the lab facilities at the college for this assignment so go ahead and go to that site with that out of the way and as soon as you load the Wireshark Wireshark.org website you see on the left there uh, download Wireshark we'll be referring to this website often throughout the project uh, to learn how to use this program but for now we're just going to click on the left link here the one that says download Wireshark again it's free so click on that link and basically you're going to uh, in our lab environment we're using Windows so we're going to use the Windows installer uh, it does have other versions as you can see there uh, it has it for Mac, it has it for um, something called portable apps which is basically if you're going to run it off a of flash drive which is actually pretty useful uh, so you may want to take a look at that at some point but what we're, we are going to do here is actually run it right here for the Windows installer 32-bit so I'd like you to pick, make that choice in the lab and what you want to do is go ahead and save this in case you need to reinstall it again it's good it's there so go ahead and hit save and I'm being prompted where to save it I'm gonna save it in my downloads folder that's where I put all my downloads under my documents you can choose wherever you want desktop my documents and don't change the name for the file and click save and it should just take uh, less than a minute to download and then we can go ahead and install the program and get started uh, with it and basically while I'm downloading here uh, I just want to tell you this program is very popular it's used a lot by networking professionals and it's a great way to study TCPIP because in, when you study TCPIP you're just learning about the theory of how the four layer TCPIP model works you have the application layer as you know the transport layer the internet layer and the network access layer you've all been exposed to that in the textbook and the lectures However, you haven't really seen how it works in the real world, and that's the whole purpose here of using this program, because if you can see the real traffic on the wire and how it relates to that model, you can become quite proficient at troubleshooting TCPIP connections, which is the whole purpose of this project. So we're almost here downloading. So uh, again, while I'm waiting here for this to finish, um, I just want to let you know that once we start running this program, we'll actually be able to see those four layers, application, transport, internet, and the last one, network access, being captured with real live traffic. I'm going to have you, I'm going to show you how to capture that traffic and then how to look at it and study it. And then we're going to use a variety of different types of um, traffic based you know, scenarios uh, to generate different types of traffic for things you can look out for. Uh, okay, it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and click open folder to go take me right to where I downloaded the file and then proceed to go ahead and install it. At this point I'm going to go ahead and close my browser, uh, make things run a little faster. Uh, go ahead and hit Wireshark to install here. And I go ahead and hit next. And I agree and what you want to choose uh, I would recommend you go ahead and choose all five choices here they probably will be showing if not go ahead and check all of them Wireshark, T-Shark, plugins, extensions, tools and the user guide go ahead and check those and hit next these plus signs means there's things underneath it so those are already checked so don't worry about that just make sure all five of those boxes are checked 
under select components to install and go ahead and hit next. Uh, having a desktop icon under a shortcut, that sounds like a pretty good idea. So let's go ahead and choose that. It's going to be in your start menu. It's going to be in the quick launch. That's the thing down here at the bottom where I have all these other icons for my laptop. And under file associations, you definitely want to check this box to associate trace file extensions to Wireshark. And then you have that whole list of different types of capture packets that various vendors use. Uh, so if you had a pre-captured uh, file, we're going to do this actually later in the project, uh, you would be able to double click on those various uh, vendors uh, capture sessions and Wireshark can open those and you can actually read them. So we do want to have that box checked. Go ahead and click next and choose the default for the uh, destination folder. Program files, Wireshark, hit next. And WinCap is actually required. It's a driver that basically allows you to uh, capture uh, packets or frames off of the network wire. Uh, it also will work for wireless, by the way. I'll talk about that a little later. But for now, uh, all you need to know is just to make sure that choice is checked. It's a default selection, install WinCap. So again, we need this driver to uh, be able to capture the frames on the network and it works with Wireshark. So go ahead and hit install. And now we're going to go ahead and install this. It may take uh, a minute or two. It's basically extracting the file right now, the executable that we downloaded, getting it so we can actually install that program. So once this extraction finishes, we will be able to proceed. It's a pretty simple install. And then we can actually start capturing some, some, some data, some frames on the network. While I'm installing here, I just want to mention again the four uh, the four layers. Uh, we will be able to see all four of those layers one by one, and we'll be able to study uh, very common types of protocols at each layer. I want to make sure you're exposed to those protocols, so when you're troubleshooting network connections, you will actually have a good idea what protocols may be involved and what layer of the model they are functioning at, and we'll be able to see specific examples. Okay, looks like we're about done here. Go ahead and hit next. And now we're going to actually install WinCap. That's that driver I was telling you about that works with this program. And hit I agree. Hit install and automatically start the WinCap driver. Again, I mentioned it's a driver to be used for capturing frames with uh, Wireshark. Uh, yes, we need that to automatically install, otherwise it won't work um, when you run uh, Wireshark. You have to have it load automatically before you run Wireshark. So hit Make sure that's selected and then click install. I think we're almost done here. Current version as of this uh, session is WinCap 4.1.2. It updates you know, every so often. So you, when you actually do this, you may see a larger number for the version. Don't worry about that. It's going to be relatively the same. Go ahead and hit finish. And now it proceeds back to the Wireshark install. We're almost done here. Again, if you do have a Mac at home, you can use the version that comes with Mac. Uh, but in our lab environment, we're actually going to be using Windows servers. And this would be the same version we're going to use on our Windows servers in the computer lab when I have you do this project. So, all right, looks like it's done. Hit next and hit finish. I'm going to go ahead and say run Wireshark. Might as well because that way we can see if the program actually uh, installed correctly. Uh, I'm going to skip show news. We, we can always look at the news later. That's just updates about the program, that kind of thing. Uh, go ahead and hit finish here and let's see if the program loads. I'm not going to run any actual sessions of capturing traffic. I just want to make sure the program loads and then in subsequent tutorials, I will actually uh, do those types of activities. Okay, it looks like it's loading the program. This is how it starts up. And if you have this screen, you've installed the program correctly. So you see the main home page, the home screen, I should say, for Wireshark, where it shows your interfaces. You'll notice on my computer, um, this is my laptop, I have the Broadcom network. That's a physical network uh, card in the laptop that's used with a wire. That's the one I'm going to be using. I'm going to actually disable the wireless. Um, I have a wireless 
card and my laptop, but I, I don't want to use both cards for the capture. So in the lab, you're only going to have one of these network cards showing in the computer lab. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop now, and we will pick up in the next lesson with how to actually start capturing some uh, initial traffic and doing some practice activities to get comfortable with this program. So I'm going to go ahead and stop right now. Thanks.